Hi, my name is Aubrey Topp, and I'm with Aubrey Schwartz here at the Ohio FFA State Convention. Aubrey is currently serving as the Ohio FFA State President, and we are here to interview her and ask her some questions. So, Aubrey, as you were serving as Secretary last year, what made you want to run again and for President? So last year I got the opportunity to meet lots of different members across the state, travel all over, and this year I really wanted to do the same thing again. Being able to learn more from students than I could ever teach them has been something I'll remember with me and care with me forever when I go to be an ag teacher one day. What a great time, and going along with learning new people and meeting new people, what are some of your favorite memories that you have learned, been through through this opportunity? Oh, my favorite from this year would probably be going to Costa Rica. Um, I got to travel out of the country for the first time. We have some visiting state officers um, that I got to meet on the trip and me and my teammates got to be really close with. Um, I had a great day with Licking Valley FFA one day this fall. I loved my time with them um, and just going to different places. I traveled almost over 25,000 miles this year in the state of Ohio. So it's been a great time to go all around and it's a little bittersweet. Today was the last day I'll put a jacket on. So. Wow, what a lot of traveling. As you are retiring today, what advice do you have for the next president and what advice do you have for people that look up to you? The biggest piece of advice I could give to the next president or anyone who's in a leadership position is you're not always going to have everything go the perfect way you think it should or the perfect way you think it will be in your mind. So even if there's little hiccups along the way, as long as you're proud and how you feel after it, um, that's a lot more important than what the journey is along the way. People are always going to remember how you make them feel, not so much what you did for like did around them or what for them. They're going to remember how you made them feel. Awesome. As you retire your corduroy jacket today, what do you plan to do after you are done? So I start an internship with National FFA on Tuesday um, in Indianapolis, so I'm excited for that. And then I'm heading back to Wilmington College in the fall, majoring in agricultural education. I'll start my junior year. Awesome. And can we get a little preview of your retiring address for tonight? I don't want to give too much away, um, but it's very personal to me. So I'm not the biggest speech person in the world. Having close to 10,000 people look at me is not exactly what I want. Um, but I'm very proud of what I've put together. Um, the, the title of it is There's Good Within the Bad. So I'm excited for everyone to hear it. I hope my teammates are excited and the members. But it's been a great year, and I can't believe it's already over. We cannot wait to hear what you have for your retiring address tomorrow. We are going to miss you. You've done such a great job serving as the state president. Thank you for tuning in with Ohio Agnet. I'm Aubrey Topp, and, there, and here's Aubrey Schwartz as we will tune into her tonight. Thank you. We are Wilmington College. Where agricultural experience and learning meet. The leadership and personal development skills I learned in FFA have allowed me to excel in the classroom and in our campus community. Out of four-year institutions, Wilmington College provides our students with the most hands-on experience starting year one at the academic farm. At Wilmington College, the farm is our lab. Because of Wilmington College, I have grown as a person, professional, and leader. I have been able to further my education as a first-generation college student. We are Wilmington College. Hands-on learning, hands-on living.